What's going on everybody? Drop here, bringing you a guide on how to gimp with sword. We're going to be going over recoveries, dodges, and overextending. So let's get into it. Now stuffing a recovery is the most effective and straightforward way to gimp someone. It's going to be a little bit dependent on their weapon, which tool you want to use, but side air, down air, and ground pound are all going to be really powerful and kind of our bread and butter for getting gimps. So, I'll show you a few examples now. In this clip versus Ragnar, I end up killing him from white. You see that I force him off. I actually down air the first uh, recovery from him, but you'll see that the side air catches the second one, and that's important. Moves like uh, axe recovery or hammer recovery can be really good against opponents above them. So, you see me coming with the side air to interrupt. In this clip versus Mirage, there's two things I want you to look at. One, pay attention again to how I continually force her off the stage, and two, that side air that just connected, watch it in slow motion. Look how early I put that move out. This final example is gonna tie into my next point. See that gravity cancel come out from Wuxiang, and I'm able to back up, get in position, and interrupt his recovery. See that in slow-mo. <laughs> Learning to punish a dodge is super important for learning how to gimp. You're going to want to look for situations where you know your opponent has to dodge, or you are just really sure they're going to dodge based on how they've been playing. You want to look for bad or risky gravity cancels. And lastly, keep in mind that you can't dodge when you're clinging to the edge. If you dodge into the edge, it will end your invincibility frames. In this clip, I do what a lot of players call babysitting. I end up following Mordex for a really long time, I dodge when he dodges, and put myself right above him, he has no options left, easy kill. In this clip, Sentinel's actually going to try and dodge over me, but I anticipate that dodge, and instead of throwing an attack out right away, I jump. Here we're going to see a gravity cancel punish, Lord Vrax going for a very risky gravity cancel, I'm right above him, and I don't back off, I don't go back up to stage, I chase him, and I punish him for his mistake. This is going to be my last example of a dodge punish. I really want you to notice that as it starts to get turned around, I really take my time, come up safely, I force the dodge out with a down air, and suddenly Cassidy isn't able to make it back. Here she is overextending, which is the next thing I'm going to talk about. Many lower elo players have a big problem with overextending. If they think they can get a kill, they chase way too hard, they overcommit to ground pounds. So if you're in a situation where an opponent's overextending, let them get beneath you. If they hit you, don't immediately panic jump, and really just take your time. Here we're going to see a great example of a time where it looks like I should be killed. I get hit by that recovery, get hit by the ground pound, but I absolutely wait Sentinel out, and I'm able to play it safe and turn a really bad situation into a kill for me because Sentinel overcommitted. And this is the final clip I'm going to show you. And again, this is Nash completely overcommitting to me. That down air was especially risky. All I do is stay above him, I let him make mistakes, and I even stuff the recovery. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it helpful. If there's any other specific content you want me to make, any kind of guides, let me know in the comments. I always read them all. Thanks for watching.